In this unit, we're going to look at string modifying operations. Uh, this is a little bit of a misnomer because in Java, strings are, uh, are not really modified. They're called immutable. So what happens when you do things like this is that a new string is uh, created. Uh, and so we generally have to use these operators and save the result into a new string. Uh, but we can save it back into the old string, as we'll see. So uh, just be aware of that. So let's look. There's a concatenate operator that will add a string onto another string. So if we have some user text here, we can say user text.concatenate and add friend to it. And if the user text is high, it'll put friend on this. Uh, and again, we have to save this uh, as another string. And so we can save it either into a new string or into the existing string. So we can say user text equals user text.concatenate. Now, we can also use plus for this. And we'll talk about some other ways of using plus. Uh, I mean, some comparisons of using concatenate and plus uh, later on. And then there's plus equals. Uh, so now the last one we'll mention is just replace. Uh, we can replace a character with another character uh, or a word with another word. So if you have some text out here, like you have many gifts, you can say, uh, and that's stored in user text, you can say user text dot replace, and you can replace the word many, and I'll search through your uh, word, your string, and find the word many, and it'll replace it with a plethora of. Um, and so by default, all occurrences of the f string you're searching for, this many uh, will be replaced with this. Uh, here, that only occurs once, but it may occur a couple times. And again, we have to save this result somewhere. So here, they're saying user text equals uh, user text dot replace, so that this is going to overwrite user text with the new version of user text. But you could just as well save it as some new text. So and again, uh, read this little section on immutable strings. Sh strings aren't changed. We just add things to them. Uh, this is a nice little example you can go on that greets, uh, creates a greeting and uses some of these concatenate commands. Uh, and it'll replace, uh, remember our last uh, session, we uh, were searching for the word darn and printing out censored. Here's another way of doing this. Rather than censoring, it's uh, printing out censored. It finds the word darn. Uh, and replace darn with a uh, group of symbols. Now this is case sensitive, so it's only going to find an uppercase darn. So if we were going to want to do this for all words, we might want to search for this for lowercase also. Um, and again, we're saying greeting text dot replace darn with find darn and replace it with this, uh, and we're saving that back into the greeting text. So go through. There's some nice examples here you can walk through. Um, now there's this challenge exercise here where it talks about using this uh, string concatenate. Um, I find that I use the plus a lot more, and I find that a lot easier to use just thinking about it rather than the concatenate command. So let's look at this solution both ways. Why don't you go through? So here you're given a secret ID, Barry, and a last name, Alan, and uh, you, there's a space character. And what you want to do is just print out uh, retype the code to divide the two strings separated by space. So you want to say um, Barry space Allen and put your code here. So looking at their code here, this is my first attempt here. I said secret ID equals secret ID. So we have the secret ID. I'm going to add a space on it. I'm going to get secret ID dot concatenate the space character onto that. And then I'm going to take the secret ID and concatenate the last name. In both cases, I'm going to save the results back in the secret ID. Now when I try to run this, it gives me an error. Uh, if I look through the error, it should say that uh, it has a problem with the character. Uh, command because this is a remember we are issuing there's this is a char not a string uh, so one way around this is to actually just put in a string here concatenate only wants a string uh, here so I could put that in there uh, and this should run okay give me my right output uh, but I could say when I would want to do this I wouldn't necessarily do this sort of concatenate I'd write it with pluses so I've commented out this concatenate one, and I've just done it again. I had said secret ID equals secret ID plus a space plus a last name, and that passes the test too. 
So again, you can decide. Sometimes you want to use concatenate. Sometimes you want to use plus. Um, and there are actually other ways of formatting strings in Java that people will have long conversations of which one is better or not. Uh, but I would just uh, use whatever one you're most comfortable with. So if string concatenate makes sense to you or plus makes sense, use one or the other. Uh, last thing you can look at is this uh, name game so, uh, one. Uh, this is an old game, song game where you say, uh, my name's Tom, so I'd sing, the second verse would be, banana, fana, fo, fam. So I would take the T out of Tom and just have O-M and then put that in here for fam. Um, the more challenging part of this they actually do for you, they take your name, in this way, in case Katie, and they use substring with a one here. So if you remember, the index is uh, the K is index 0, the A is index 1. So they're starting a substring at index 1. And they're not specifying, usually with substring we might specify start location and end location. If you don't specify an end location, it does the whole word. So this will get you 80 from Katie um, as your username. So then you just have to add uh, banana fanafo uh, fady. It should uh, B. So you can put the you can get the solution, but I actually think this is the more challenging part of the whole solution. Now you can just concatenate this uh, with some uh, this other string to get the results. So, but it's kind of interesting to do. Okay, so that kind of wraps up uh, this. Now I've marked character operations, conditional expressions, and trinity decoder as optional. Feel free to go through them if you want, uh, but we're not going to spend too much time on them. We've already talked a little bit about characters and character operators when we're talking about strings. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next chapter.